Hello and welcome to our High Impact Weather Briefing. My name is Leanna Legretto and I'm a meteorologist here at the National Weather Service in Missoula. I'll be covering the host of significant impacts expected across western Montana and central Idaho Tuesday through Wednesday. As a quick overview, I'm going to discuss impacts due to snowfall expected during a brief period Tuesday morning, but the main event will certainly be the very strong winds we're expecting late Tuesday evening and overnight through Wednesday morning. I'll be spending some time going into detail on the winds in the upcoming slides. In addition, we are also expecting blizzard-like conditions in the mountains and over higher mountain passes during the same time frame. As you can imagine, the result of these impacts will cause our internet homepage map to be colored up in a variety of headlines. So if you visit our homepage at www.weather.gov slash Missoula, don't be surprised if you see many colors on the map. Um, one thing to note, uh, because of all these headlines and all the different warnings, advisories, watches, etc. that we'll be issuing and adjusting in time, some of the different colors will overlap others. So just if your particular area only shows one color, there could be multiple headlines. It's just the way that our program's designed. It only shows one color at a time. So it's best to just click on the area of your, be of your greatest interest and get the details beyond that point. So just, just an info reminder. All right, so here is a graphic showing just how strong the winds are expected to be over the region. And just about everywhere is seeing strong even damaging wind gusts from Tuesday evening through Wednesday morning. Obviously the strongest winds stand out right away um, in all the higher elevations, especially along the Continental Divide and the Rocky Mountain Front. Valleys across western Montana are also quite strong and could even see periodically stronger gusts than are pictured here after sunset on Tuesday. In particular, the Bitterroot Valley could become especially susceptible to damaging winds Tuesday night due to a potential mountain wave wind activity that we're looking at even as this recording is being done. Um, if a mountain wave were to develop, we could see a very small period of time, like one to two hours of gusts up to 70 miles an hour possible in the Bitterroot Valley. And maybe even a lesser chance, but still possible from Drummond, Deer Lodge, Anaconda, around that valley area. So that's something to keep in mind as well. You know, historically speaking, winds of this nature are not common. So I cannot stress strongly enough the importance of securing loose personal items, keeping abreast of power outages, downed trees, damaged personal property, etc. during this time. These are extremely rare winds, and an event like this could cause serious damage around the area. So just be aware of any changes in the forecast, um, any updates you see us make, and just stay abreast of these things. Another thing to mention, high-profile vehicles could be toppled over easily on main interstates and highways across the region. So, you know, please take measures now wherever you are to prepare for such intense winds. I know that this image is, um, it has a lot of colors going on, so if you need to, pause this video and just kind of digest it and see where, you've, where you are in terms of winds, wind gust speeds as shown here. And just in case you need it, here is a brief listing of wind gust speed ranges that we're expecting in the areas of most concern. Now everywhere is going to be windy, but these are the areas that we're most concerned about right now and our confidence is very high. So again, please feel free to pause the video if you need to write down any of these numbers or refer back to this slide in the future. So I mentioned blizzard-like driving conditions earlier and blizzard-like conditions in the mountains as well. So I'll go into more detail on this during this slide. As it stands, with such strong wind speeds being forecast, snowfall that will occur in the higher terrain will cause blizzard-like conditions. Uh, low visibilities will be extremely common and will exist for long durations. For higher mountain passes, you know, um, probably about 5,000 feet or higher, just a rough ballpark, snow-packed road surfaces will be prevalent. There will be periodic visibility reductions as well. Uh, quickly changing conditions rain change the snow early Tuesday and remaining as snow thereafter. All things to consider. Some snow is expected in valleys early Tuesday morning. However, warmer air moving into the region will allow this snow in the valleys to quickly change to rain. The exception will be Idaho valleys, which may stay as snow for a few hours longer than those valleys in western Montana. 
But that being said, backcountry conditions are going to be a whole different deal. Throughout the day Tuesday, they'll be hazardous, if not downright dangerous. And the conditions will only exacerbate with time as winds increase Tuesday night through Wednesday. So all things considered, it goes without saying that any backcountry back travel of any sort will be dangerous. So let's review the impacts to life and property that are expected Tuesday through Wednesday. First, downed trees will be a major concern as well as personal property or items that are not secured outside during this dangerous wind event. As such, the second impact will be power outages due to either down power lines or down trees over power lines. So just stay alert to those things. Um, power outages can happen at any time. Third, difficult mountain pass travel uh, due to changing conditions and anyone who needs to uh, travel over a mountain pass Tuesday through Wednesday, just be aware of changing conditions. Plan ahead, leave plenty of time, and get to your destination on time and prepare for rapidly changing conditions. I, I cannot stress it enough. And of course, between the strong winds and snowfall that are expected, conditions will be extremely dangerous in the backcountry. I hope this presentation has explained the various aspects of our upcoming weather and how it will impact you where you live. If you have any questions or need to have anything further explained or specified, we are here 24 hours a day, 365 days a year to answer your questions. So thank you for your time and feel free to pick up the phone and give us a call. Stay safe. Have a good week.